Hola, ¿cómo están? Es Doctora Collado, and today I want to share something that I'm very happy about. It's a um, lesson that I um, did with fifth grade. So some of you, um, um, if you follow my work, you know that for fifth graders, I have a, um, a unit on superheroes. So it's um, the, the big question is, or the big statement is, we are all heroes. So for some time, I've been meaning to incorporate the artwork of Dulce Pinzon. Um, you may have come across her work. In a couple of years, she created um, a collection of um, photographs that um, show Hispanics in the U.S. wearing um, superhero outfits. And so, anyway, time passed. I didn't use it, and then this year, I said I have to. I have to incorporate somehow. Um, these pictures. So I also was thinking of the premise of using um, compelling images to engage students and um, so combining those I dare to use them because some of these um, pictures um, are you know could it's art so it could be considered controversial. So what I did was I um, did it as a um, individual activity um, in English we're not at first we're not using English and um, I just saw the picture. I said, you know, <clears throat> I introduced it like you're gonna, I'm gonna show you an image um, and I want you to write down your thoughts. This is a silent activity, just think. Don't judge your, your thoughts. Whatever comes to your mind, you write down. The question was for the initial picture was, does this picture make sense to you? Why or why not? And I used a picture, the first picture that I used was, was the uh, Batwoman um, with the children, which is the babysitter. And um, so sure enough, there was absolute silence in the classroom. Um, you know, there, there, there was a couple of reactions, maybe giggles, like what? It, but they actually followed the, the, the instructions of staying silent and jotting down their thoughts. And, um, you know, and then after this activity, we switched to Spanish and I did some vocabulary building um, using the picture, which was good. But it was so interesting to um, to have that time and have a conversation um, about the picture. So for some students, it was completely strange. Um, it didn't make sense. For other students that live in a city environment it was completely normal you know they would be like yes people earn a living wearing costumes or maybe there was comic-con and they were going but we were actually able to get to that point in the discussion where I said what makes the what makes a babysitter or a nanny a hero and um, and the answers were beautiful you know you know to see these children the, the children, the students, um, recognize and, and think of, you know, the value of, of, of an Annie, right? That sometimes maybe it's a type of job that we look down to. Um, it's a job that, you know, in many cases is done by, by Hispanics. Um, and um, so it was very important to me and, and rewarding and enlightening to have that um, discussion with them. Then we move on to um, to the to the second picture, and so I'm gonna what I'm doing is like every so often I just insert um, a picture of the collection, and um, it's also it's been, it's also been interesting to see how they come into class and say, "Is there another picture?" Because I told them, you know, this is a, an artist, and there's a collection of pictures, and um, so they come and I. Is there another picture? Like, what's the picture of the day? You know, like, let's see. They, they're looking forward to. So, takeaways. It never disappoints to incorporate art into our lessons. Um, showing compelling images that are real um, does work. You know, it's important not just to teach the language, but also... Um, to offer the opportunity to think about the perceptions of the target language, community, or culture. Um, not just from the point of view of the um, native speaker, but from, uh, from the point of view from the outside. How do we perceive the culture 
of the Tarkin language. So again, I'm gonna share. I'm gonna be sharing um, Dulce Pinzon's work on the written portion. Check it out. She has some very interesting um, work that um, could also be used when it comes to um, diversity and social justice. Okay, adios.